having secured a record 12th straight test win at home to England on match day three, Wales came into this game with thoughts of a first Guinness Six Nations Championship success since 2013 in their minds and the prospect of a first Grand Slam since 2012 very much alive. Two defeats in a row had deflated the Scots, although the 29 points to 13 win over Wales at this venue in 2017 was a positive. After a tight opening spell, Scotland opened the scoring in the 11th minute with a Finn Russell penalty to put the first points on the board. But the Welsh struck back with a fantastic score from Josh Adams. The Worcester winger received from Jonathan Davies and showed brilliant acceleration to breeze past Blair Kinghorn for a quite wonderful try. Adams' third try of this campaign having scored in the previous two matches. He showed great footwork on the wing to create the room to get past Kinghorn. After that, it was a clear run to the line, and when Anscombe converted, Wales were 7-3 ahead. Scotland were giving a first start to Edinburgh winger Darcy Graham, and he showed why he was selected with lovely footwork in the Welsh danger zone. He was eventually swallowed up, but it was a sign of what he was capable of. The 21-year-old with glimpses of why he successfully represented Scotland in Rugby Sevens in the past. Midway through the half, Russell added three more points off the tee to bring it back to a one-point game before Anscombe landed a fine kick at the other end to make it ten points to six. Wales stretched their lead further with a half hour on the clock. The visitors' patience was rewarded, having gone through over 20 phases. The Scots' defence was stretched, and when Anscombe passed to Jonathan Davies, the big scarlet centre wasn't going to be stopped from close range. It was a first try of this season's championship for the 30-year-old, and an important score for Warren Gatlin's men, putting Wales in a strong position approaching half-time. Scotland were hit with first-half injuries to several players, but after this try, they were 15 six points down at the break. However, there was still hope for Townsend's men. Into the second period, Scotland pressed for what would be an important first score of the half, playing with an advantage. Price went for the chip behind, but Guinness man of the match, Hadley Parks, under pressure, proved to be a safe pair of hands. Almost immediately, as Scotland continued to attack, Grant Gilchrist tried to force himself over the line, but stout Welsh defence managed to hold him up, and it remained 15-6 for the men in red. The referee well positioned to see that he hadn't grounded the ball. He, he, never, he never gone in the ball. But Scotland struck on the hour, and it was a magnificent score. A lovely reverse pass from Russell to McGuigan, then Hastings, before Graham sprinted over for a brilliant try. Graham's first try on his first start for the Scots, having made two substitute appearances before this. A memorable score, and one that got the Edinburgh crowd out of their seats and believing that their team could turn it around. Russell was off target with the conversion attempt, but it was Scotland 11, Wales 15, and perfectly set up for the last quarter of the match. In what was a hugely attritional game, Scotland huffed and puffed and tried their hardest, exemplified by this rampaging run from substitute Hamish Watson. But as was the case for most of the game, the Welsh defence had all the answers. Watson, another to have played sevens for Scotland, managing to bounce off the first couple of tacklers before eventually being put to ground. As the game drifted towards the full-time whistle, Wales had Scotland pinned back in their own half. A late penalty afforded Anscombe the chance to let the clock tick down towards 80 minutes. And when the Welsh number 10 slotted it between the posts with the last kick of the match, Wales had secured an 18 points to 11 victory. A 13th straight win for Warren Gatlin's men. Gatlin still to taste defeat against Scotland as Welsh coach. Wales set up for a Grand Slam tilt when they face Ireland in Cardiff on the final day of the Championship. It's a third defeat in a row for Scotland, who finished their campaign away to England. In the end, at BT Murrayfield, it finished Scotland 11, Wales 18.